Hey folks, this is Decor, your resident entertainment techie. I know it's been a while, hope everyone is doing well. I don't have as much time to work on videos as I did before, and I can also admit I'm a bit distracted at the moment, but I wanted to do this video because MAME 0.281 is out, and this update has something I've been waiting for. If you watched my first update video, then you know I was keeping this one close to the chest as I didn't want to jinx it, but now we have a confirmation, and I want to talk about it. In this latest update, Hyper Neo Geo 64 has gotten some much needed attention with improved audio across the board. Last month with the release of version 0.280, the arcade hardware was promoted to working and I thought that was a bit odd given it still had major sound issues. Little did I know that audio fixes were on their way and now they are officially here. Just to give you some background on this particular hardware, Hyper Neo Geo 64 was basically SNK's transition into 3D graphics. What makes this really interesting is the hardware that this arcade board is based on and the 64 in its name should give you a bit of a hint. If you guessed the Nintendo 64, then you would be correct. SNK was one of the few companies that based their board on the console and it seemed to be one of the many bets for SNK that unfortunately did not pay off. There was also an arcade hardware based on the Sony PlayStation. I actually made a video about one of the boards and as history has shown companies like Namco Capcom and Tecmo all benefited from modifying the hardware for their arcade board. Only one of the Hyper Neo Geo 64 games would get promoted to the PlayStation, so it was great to see this arcade hardware getting some love when it comes to emulation. I did test out a few games to get an idea of the fixes. So far, Bariki 1 seems to be one of the best improvements. I haven't noticed any issues with the audio, and while I don't know how close it is to the original hardware, it's definitely in a good state. Samurai Showdown 64 Warriors Rage is also showing an overall improvement. The audio still has some distortion and there are certain hit effects that still repeat once triggered, but for the most part, things are sounding good. Fatal Fury Wild Ambition, the only game on the list to get a console port, is also in good condition. There does sound like there is some slight distortion at times during the intro scene, but for the most part, the audio seems to be great. Now these are just the three games I've personally tested. Hyper Neo Geo 64 had a total of seven games that released on this hardware. So if there is a personal favorite you've been waiting to play, I certainly suggest you boot it up and give it a try. I do want to send a special shout out to the main developers behind the latest fixes, R. Belmont and Happy. R. Belmont does have a YouTube channel and it would seem that he is already preparing more fixes for the next update of MAME. I also want to shout out MAME Hayes who also has a YouTube channel and was instrumental in improving the graphical fixes for Hyper Neo Geo 64. Obviously, Hyper Neo Geo 64 was not the only hardware to receive audio fixes, so as usual, I'll be leaving a link to what's new in the comment section below, along with a link to download the latest version. We are closing in on the end of the year, and I have to say, MAME has made so much headway that I just can't imagine what other surprises the developers have in store before we hit 2026. If you enjoyed this latest emulation update, please be sure to like the video and consider subscribing as I will have more emulation news. For now, this is Decor, your entertainment techie, signing out.